almost a month into the school year and officials with the Pottsville Area School District say new technology to stop people from illegally passing school buses is proven to be beneficial. Newswatch 16's Valeria Quinones shows us how the bus patrol safety program works. Every bus in the Pottsville Area School District is now equipped with these cameras. It's all a part of the bus patrol safety program. The district partnered with the program late last year to install AI-enabled cameras to help enforce stop arm laws. The cameras can capture clear video footage of any vehicle unlawfully passing school buses at designated bus stops once the stop arm is extended. Now that the trial period is over, Police are giving out citations to any driver who violates the stop arm laws. The safety of our students is our top priority and making sure that we can do everything possible to prevent people from unlawfully passing our school buses is, is a priority. These cameras are installed on the side of each bus and begin scanning the surrounding area once the stop arm is extended. Four cameras on the side, one on the top and one on the front and back of the school bus simultaneously work together to record a driver's car license plate and face if they pass the school bus while the stop arm is extended. The bus patrol program then sends that video to the Pottsville Bureau of Police or Port Carbon Police Department for further analysis. The fine for the first offense is $300. They do not send out the citation unless the police actually uh, check it over themselves. The Pottsville Area School District Superintendent Sarah Yoder says the installation of the cameras has proven effective in reducing the number of drivers illegally passing school buses. Yes, it's been effective to not only reduce the overall number of violators, but we do not have any repeat violators. So people are learning that we do have these cameras that capture them violating the, the school bus laws. Officials with the Pottsville Area School District say there were 53 stop arm violations in April and May of last year. They tell us that number has gone down to 10 so far this school year. Valeria Quinones, Newswatch 16, Pottsville.